Number 21, the graph shows the momentum y in newton seconds of an object x seconds after the object started moving for zero is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to eight. What is the average rate of change in newton seconds per second in the momentum of the object from x equals two to x equals six? Average rate of change is slope. That's what it means. So this is simpler than it seems. And they're even telling you it's in newton seconds per second. So, okay, there's my y values, newton seconds per second. Those are my x values. So the y values over the x values, the change in y over change in x slope. So even if that average rate of change didn't trigger that memory in your mind of saying it's slope, hopefully when they're saying newton seconds per second, so y's per x's, y's divided by x's, hopefully that will get you thinking on the test day, like, hmm, are they meaning slope? Yes, slope is average rate of change. So let's look at what the values are when x equals 2 and x equals 6. But when x equals 2, that value is 2, 6, those coordinates, that ordered pair. And when x is 6, it is 6, 8. So what would the slope of a line be connecting those two points? Well, it's change in y over change in x. So you subtract the y's on top and you subtract the x's on the bottom. So I'm going to start with the top one and then go to the bottom one. And I need to do that for both. So first I'm starting with that six and I'm subtracting the eight. On the other one, I'm starting with the two and I'm subtracting the six. It doesn't matter which direction I go. I also could have started with the eight and subtracted the six on top and then had six minus two on the bottom. You will get the same answer either way. Just make sure you're going in the same direction, either six minus eight, two minus six, or eight minus six, six minus two. All right, so here six minus eight is negative two and two minus six is negative four. Negative two over negative four simplifies to one half. That is my slope and that is my average rate of change between those two points. Be sure to head over to my stores on Spreadshop and Etsy for math related merch, worksheets, classroom decor and more. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.